Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to preserve the leading zeros when typing numbers into Excel. And I'm going to show two different ways of doing it. I'm going to show an example with some employee numbers, which we want to preserve the leading zero, but keep it as a numeric value. And I'm going to show an example with a telephone number where in that example, I'm going to imagine a scenario where I'm not too concerned if it's numeric or not. As long as I have it looking okay, I'm going to put it in there as text, and that will also preserve the leading zero. So let me look at the phone number example first of all, and something you can do if it fits your needs when typing in these values is to start with this kind of single quote, this apostrophe. By doing that, you're telling Excel that what you're about to type is text or a number stored as text. And in things like phone numbers, that is quite often OK to do so, because it's not like you're ever going to add two numbers together or anything like this. So it's normally uh, sufficient, but you know, it depends on your needs. So if I type this fictional phone number in, I can see that it stores it, preserves that lead in zero, but that has put it in as text. I can see the way it's positioned on the left hand side of the cell indicates that. And I can see in the formula bar above, this might be a little small on that screen, but it has that single apostrophe at the start of it. Now, another way of doing it, but keeping the value numeric, especially if you needed to create formulas and charts and stuff based on this data, is to just use custom formatting to preserve the zero. Now, maybe in an example like an ID, I'm not really going to do any formulas or chart that either. So I could probably use the same um, technique as what I just showed with a phone number. But maybe in this example, I want to make sure it's always eight characters long. So I've got some very specific formatting I want to use. And now suddenly using that single quote is not quite good enough. So what I'm going to do is highlight the range of cells in question. Now I'm only highlighting these five, but you know in your example it could be a much larger range than that potentially. And I'm going to click on this little arrow in the corner of my number group on the home tab to open format cells. You can obviously open that however you wish to. In here on the number tab, I'm going to choose custom. And in here, I'm just going to select one of their number formats, like this single zero, and the type area above add to that. Now, I want to imagine a scenario that maybe these employee IDs are always eight characters long. Maybe that's the case, they're always eight characters long. But some of them start with a zero. And obviously, Excel takes away that leading zero. I don't want it to. So by typing eight zeros in here, I'm telling Excel, that there will always be eight numbers, like eight mandatory numbers. Have a click OK to confirm that format and then type numbers in. So even if I type like zero, zero and then six numbers, that should keep those leading zeros. If I type zero, one, two, it will make sure it pads it out with the extra zeros. But if I do honestly type eight numbers, then obviously that meets the criteria that it must be eight characters long. So they are the two techniques. When typing data in, use that little single quote uh, to uh, at the beginning as a kind of prefix to store the number as text. So it's not so usable, but it gets the job done and preserves the leading zero. Or we can create custom formatting rules, which will also keep it numeric. And you can see the way the number is kept on the right hand side of the cell is a nice clue, uh, although not a guarantee that that has worked correctly. I hope you find this video useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel and come and check us out at computergaga.com.